Ah, is this real? I can't tell. Yo, what's up? Me, here with an album review of the highly anticipated third studio album from the band The Contortionist, entitled Language. This is the follow-up to uh, Intrinsic, and uh, yeah, it, there's a lot that's happened with this band since Intrinsic. Um, Jonathan Carpenter is no longer on vocals slash keyboards, um, so they lose his presence, but they replace him with Mike Lezard from uh, Last Chance to Reason. Um, they got a new bassist, and, and they also got um, our Jordan Eber Eberhart, I hope I said that right, is the bassist, and now they have a separate keyboard player. Um, so yeah, and, and so I absolutely adore The Contortionist. I think they're one of the better bands to come out in recent memory. They're they're really fucking good. And every time I listen to them, I'm just like, the potential is just here. And it is so good to be one of the best and hottest progressive metal bands. And I honestly can sit here and say that I think that they are moving in the right direction with language. Language is an incredibly beautiful and breathtaking record. And, it, and there's so many times that it just leaves my jaw dropping and I'm just like, this is wonderful. It's everything you wanted from the contortionist, in, in my eyes. I, you know, Exoplanet's a very heavy album. Um, Intrinsic's still kind of heavy, not as heavy. And, and But I always was like, I want the contortionist to just go more progressive. You know, more straight up and maybe ditch the heaviness. Uh, because they're they're really good at being, you know, creating lots of good, you know, melodies and just uh, beautiful sounds. And that's really what is happening on language. The, the heaviness, you know, those heavy, diminished breakdowns, such as in, like, Vessel or Flourish or something, they're nowhere to be found here. It's, it's more, you know, straight up... Um, Lots of harmonies, uh, lots of, you know, interweaving of the guitars, lots of ambience. Um, and, and I feel that they, they've definitely changed their guitar tone on this album. It's not as heavy. It's They're going for a more clean guitar sound. And I, I really enjoy it. I think it, it fits really well uh, for what they're going for. You know, when, when they play... Uh, a more technical riff like the Contortionist is also known for... Um, you know, it just sounds a little bit more clean, and it just seems to fit a lot better um, with their new change in, in sound. Uh, but honestly, I don't think the songwriting of the Contortionists has really changed that much. It, it's They still are one of the best bands, in my opinion, of doing something that's a little bit more aggressive and heavy, and then just transitioning like that to something beautiful, and then back, back again. And that that is definitely here, and it's wonderful. Um, I just feel that this is a very much different sound for the contortionist because of Mike Leonard. And I really like Last Chance to Reason. I really enjoyed their album Level 3, which is probably going to be the final Last Chance to Reason album, at least for a long time. Um, and I, f I honestly feel that they could not have found a better replacement for Jonathan Carpenter than Mike Leonard. He is a fantastic vocalist, um, and he he puts so much, so many soft touches and so much elegance into all the songs. And and right away from the opening, you know, intro, I guess you can say the source. I'm just like, this is gorgeous. And then it then it just hits you so hard uh, when you know language part one, uh, intuition uh, kicks in. That guitar, it's just so clean and so you know it just grabs you and it you just get lost in in the music and literally I, I put this record on and I was just doing one quick thing before I was going to sit down give it my last you know listen 
before I do this review, and I just lost myself. I'm like, what was I doing again once that guitar came out? It's so amazing. Both parts of the language, um, tracks, language movement, whatever you want to call it, are fantastic. Um, they're, they're in, I honestly wish there were more parts. That's one thing about the contortionists, they seem to write like the exoplanet three-part thing, but it just seems a little bit short. It's only like 10 to 12 minutes uh, of, you know, worth of tracks. Fuck it, man. Go all out. Make the whole album that or something. Like, I would love to see them do something like that and just really take that kind of concept that they always seem to have on an album take it through the whole thing in my eyes i think that would be great um one thing about mike lezard on here is most of the time he i feel his vocals are very soft and they're very you know on the, the quiet side um and that's on purpose you can tell that's on purpose and it really fits their music um but when he kind of you know belts out more um such as in language um to conspire or or uh, ebb and flow or something um I, I really really like that and that's probably the only thing that i was that i was that i wish he did more of is to just give it a little bit more ass you know it just belt it because he has a wonderful voice and I, I wish he would do that more um but i do think vocally he sounds great um there's not a whole lot of screams on here either um, and, and, and his screams, and I'm completely fine with that, his screams really aren't that good. Uh, no, they're good, don't get me wrong. That came, yeah, I'm at a loss for words. That came out wrong. They're not as good compared to Jonathan Carpenter's, in my opinion. They, they are good. Um, and I'd say the screams, you know, it's 90% clean vocals, 10% screams most of the time. So, I, I, I honestly... Kind of like the heavy breakdowns, I could do without the screamed vocals. I don't really care. Um, you know, I just want the contortionist to write incredibly engaging and thoughtful music. And that's exactly what they did here. All nine songs are just beautiful. And honestly, this album is a lot harder to get into than Exoplanet and Intrinsic were. Um, and I think because it's more complex and it's just... You know, there's a lot more to it. Um, a lot of the songs are longer, which is another thing I wanted from the contortionists. Just longer songs. I felt like they they always had all these ideas, but they just cut it short. Just a little bit. And, and you know, here, they're really thought out. There's a couple songs over the seven minute mark. Six minute, seven minute mark. And that's fantastic. Um, I'm not saying every song has to be that long. But, you know, that's cool. They're, they're definitely writing as they should in my eyes they're they're going in the right direction um other songs on here are fantastic as well i think integration is one of the strongest tracks on here um and, uh, thrive is another really catchy one that's another thing there's some really catchy vocals on here um and like i said before i mean mike leslie just does a good job and you know he does a good job throughout the whole thing this is an amazing record I really don't think this me sitting here telling you about this album should be the, the definitive and, you know, deciding factor on uh, whether you should purchase this record. I honestly think you should sit down and listen to it for yourself. Listen to it many times and just sink it in. Don't put this on as background music. Focus on it and you will find its true beauty. And this is a beautiful album. A lot, I mean, a lot of the guitar work is absolutely gorgeous and and I, like i said i feel the clean guitar tone you know the the less heavy you know i guess less thick guitar tone really helps that out i mean oh, just so much uniqueness is found here and it's fantastic um that's about all i can say um the guitar players in this band are fantastic oh um whatever I know the new one's name is fucking Robbie. Robbie Baca, Baca, and Cameron May Maynard. I've seen this band live like four times, four or five times. I lost track. And I, I every time I'm like, these guys are so engaging to watch. And they're engaging to listen to. And they're fucking creative. And it's fantastic. Um, that's all I can say. Just a bunch of really, really talented musicians. And I, I just continue to think that it's forward
from here. All they can do is go up, and it's great. The future of the Contortionists is as bright as any other fucking band out there in my eyes. Um, they're going to keep getting better and better and better. And honestly, language, I'm going to just call it right here. It's sitting in my top five for for best albums of 2014. Damn near masterpiece in my eyes. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. I really like this album a lot. You might not like it. That's fine. Opinion's opinion. You be your own judge. But I really fucking love this record. And, you know, it's beautiful. And it's kind of hard to describe. Balls. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.